Greetings, everyone. Hey, welcome to Redline Collectibles. Today, another box opening. Wow, I'm really excited about this one, guys. This was uh, made its way to Eagle, and I am so grateful for this particular consigner. And I wanted to mention that if you have red lines for sale, if you are looking for, you know, downsizing, thinning the herd, I'll work for you. I'll get your cars to the right places and put some money in your pocket because we are very experienced. Look at how this packaging was done here, all in clams. Beautifully well done. Very protective of the uh, the cars. Oh my goodness. And if the, the pictures are indicative of what I expect in this group, you are going to be so happy and, you know, get your red line juices going. Look at this packaging. Man, they're like sardines in here. Let's, uh, let's get a bunch of them out. And then we'll go to town here uh, on getting these in front of you <clears throat> and show you what came in the mail here. I'm telling you what, guys. So, so happy on this particular collection. Uh, by the way... I do run live auctions every Tuesday on a Facebook site called Studio Dash Redline. So if you want to join us for some really nice red lines, we got a power packed evening tonight, the 23rd of July, starting at 6 p.m. Central. You're invited. This collection is a consignment. And again, if you would like us to work for you my wife and I be very very grateful to be your representative to be your voice as you're looking at maybe like I said thinning the herd downsizing a little bit we ship around the world our constituent our <clears throat> database takes us around planet earth we are so grateful for a steady supply if you will, of quality red lines and buyers who are interested in, look at this Carabo, guys. What? Beautiful shape on that one. I have a couple of surprises here for you um, in this particular collection. Um, one of the cars now, it's not going to be perfect, but you know the Herfies promotion on the West Coast back in the day? They were a restaurant chain and they promoted red lines when you went to dine at their facilities and while you're having a hamburger maybe you picked up a herfies grambling grinder how about those bananas what a beautiful machine tampa's still pretty much intact guys an absolutely awesome beautiful legendary herfies gremlin grinder let's put him next to this carabo sitting up there wow yeah oh and then there's some some mark fours uh, i'm sorry mark threes in this collection look at this aqua guys you look into upgrade every one of these cars will go to auction the other cool part about working with us is redline collectibles we actually have a website a buy it now website called redline collectibles We'll take your cars, look at this banger base, we'll take your cars on a minimal commission and put them on a Buy It Now website that goes around planet Earth as well. So if you would like to get in touch with me, we'll, we'll put your cars on Redline Collectibles and uh, make it happen for you. Very, very uh, easy to shop and acquire and you know the good thing about it too, the icing on the cake, is the no risk. You're dealing with someone who with eight years of experience working with red lines, someone who's going to take care of you, put your best interests forward. This blue coupe, I love that deep blue color. And when the grill is shiny like that, you can't beat that with a stick, can you? Wow. What a banger. Whoa. Beautiful red lines that are consistent with our brand redline collectibles so a couple things um in recap i auction most every tuesday on a facebook site called studio dash redline we run a website called redline collectibles 
Uh, part of the services that we offer is marketing on YouTube, our YouTube channel. Of course, you're on there right now. Enjoying another box opening of Beautiful Reds. We have an Instagram account. We have over 3,000 um, active database people. You know, not every week, but boy, we're able to move some beautiful cars for your benefit. And uh, I'm at a point in my in my in my retired career. Well, here's a here's the one of the here's one of the one of the um, sleepers of the whole group, and that's this red fleet side guys oh, late run. That I I can have the time. I have the ability and the time. The Lord has given me to to work on your behalf. So enough of the commercials. Now let's enjoy the beauty. How about a red fleet side, guys? Absolutely stellar condition. Look at the the, the light <laughs> shining off this thing. Have you seen one that clean before? Look at the grill. Pipes, roof, base. Check out this. When was the last time you saw a fleet side that clean? Man. There's a showstopper right there. I just want to sit and look at that one for a while. Let's do it. Let's just put it right there and have you look at it. <laughs> and then there was a couple flying colors that came in the group as well, besides that Corrado and the Herfies. I also have this Monte Carlo. Awesome yellow. Got the plastic base, but man, look at those tampos, guys. Super crispy. What an awesome machine. Don't you like them clean like that? Yeah, all the detail too. Look at the the uh, the hood. Um, then the the trunk, little hatch pieces. Isn't that cool? All the details that Mattel put into these cars. Yes, sir. Oh, I got some chargers too, guys. Oh man. Yep. Look at this one. Lime yellow. Beautiful charger. Look at a grill in this baby. Hardly ever played with. When the hood holds, holds open like that without any hood, Nick, you can tell that, you know, one of the telltales, besides the, you know, lack of wear on the on the chrome, on the tires, and 100% uh, tail light paint, is that they weren't played with. You know, they were opened up from their blister, and they were placed on the shelf, and that was that. What a beautiful lime yellow. Let's put him right here. Put the Conti out of here. I'm going to have these twirl for a while, and you can just soak in the beauty. One thing I want to tell you about this T for two, look how the, the collector protected not only with the clams, but also with the protective tissue on there, too. The thing about the T for two, look at your roofs. If there is a little round indentation, like a round, like a, like a mold piece that's actually molded into the into the plastic that's a reproduction this is real there's no round center um, ind indication and the way the roof sits like that nice and snug that is a 100 percent original roof on this beautiful t for two look at the shine on this spectra flame masterpiece whoa Gorgeous car. Just a monster, beautiful T for two. Put him back there. Put that one there. It's AMX too. <laughs> I'm telling you. Man, this oh, I got a I, I got one for you guys. I got one for you. Now, you know, we've talked about water slides in the past and inventive childhood memories you know remember what you did with water slides when you got your red line <laughs> and what you did with the water slides take a look at this one guys <laughs> that cool i love it i just love it the next person that gets this beautiful purple sugar caddy is going to enjoy a bit of legacy whatever the original collector was thinking about adding back tail lights with those pure oil <laughs> water slides ah man don't you love it what a cool little piece of legend here purple sugar caddy all dialed up for you 
no scuffs, no cracks on that, on that, uh, oops, on the roof. <clears throat> Let's put him there. That's a nice one. Let's do that. Put the herfies right here. How about those guys? Hey, you know what else came in the collection? Really kind of cool. Actually, I was kind of surprised and, and happy that he included this, and that was a black wall, heavy Chevy. This is the olive, green, and yellow, number seven. Those are black walls. This is a 1977 release, so you'll see this in red lines and in black walls. So this happens to be a 1977 black wall, early black wall version of the heavy Chevy with those particular colors, and you can still see how beautiful and preserved the old number seven is on the side. That's a sweetheart right there, no doubt. Put him right there. Black wall, you can get in there, sure. We're okay with that. Another Conti. Look at this one, guys. Sweet. Clean. That's the telltale of this particular collection is clean. And that's what we're looking for. You know, to kind of go back a little bit, if you've got uh, red lines, I really love having clean ones. That's what our, our constituents, that's what our guests really are looking for. I'll get your red lines in the proper hands, and if they're clean like this, you're going to be very happy with our services. We do all the marketing, take all the pictures, you know, we do all the promotion. You sit back, and I send you a weekly paycheck. That's that's the beauty of the whole thing, yeah, and that's we've been doing that for many, many years now, and we have so many repeat consigners. We're looking kind of amp up our game a little bit. Look at this yellow Nomad, guys. What a sweetie pie here. Super clean, beautiful reds, bezels, both bezels clean, tail light package, check those boxes. Whoa. Yep, that's what you come to expect with red line collectibles. We're gonna take care of you. We're gonna make sure that you have the, the proper cars, you know, represented. So let's do this. Um, I've got a couple more for you. Let's let's pick out a couple. Let's pick out a couple that you really enjoy seeing. I think, I sure hope you do. Um, oh yeah, tell you what, I'm saving a couple here. And um, let's do, uh, who likes magenta? You guys like magenta? I have a, many, many guests that ask me to, okay, can you find me a magenta, you know, seasider? Can you find me a magenta, um, you know, custom Dodge Charger? And I say, you know what? Let me go look for you. Let me see if I can find a magenta custom Dodge Charger for you that you can be proud to put into your Red Lion collection. This one is no exception. Take a look, guys. Absolutely takes your breath away. The Mattel Toy Company on their game. And now it's your turn. Put this one in your red line collection. Go ahead. Look us up. Test us out. You will not be disappointed. Let's put these chargers together here. Put those. I'm going to put that fleet side right there. Wow, man, that fleet side knocks my socks off. And then I mentioned uh, the Magenta Seasider. And you know what? Look what came in here. Protected not only in the clamshell, but also uh, he put it in in a protective plastic bag. Original boat, guys. Magenta. Look at that. Look how shiny. Exactly how you want it. Dual pipes. That boat just sits in there so beautifully, doesn't it? The original boats. How about that? Now there is something you can proudly display on the top, top shelf of your Red Line collection. Let's make some room for him, right? Let's see, those chargers are gonna stay there. I love the chargers, the Nomad. Take the T for two out. Let's put this Seasider right there up in front. Um, a couple more for you, a couple more. Oh, here's something unusual. I, I don't normally get six shooters in blue. This one is, and I'm so grateful because typically I'll get 
uh, six shooters in Aqua. These are, of course, all made in Hong Kong. And um, also that it's clean on the uh, on the roof. Look at that. Got the Hong, a little bit of Hong Kong popping. Nothing you can do about that right from the factory. But blue. Yeah, not your normal, every for whatever reason, not your normal everyday color. Um, like I said, I got a lot of aquas in. But this blue one knocked my socks off. I just love that color. If you're a six-shooter collector, there you go. Let's put him up here, too. You don't get those that often. A couple more. A couple more for you. Um, this guy. Oh, hey. Apple green power pad. Clean on the edges. Very vulnerable points right there. Super clean. Um, original top. Let me wiggle that off of there. Come on. There it is. The roll bar is not broken, and it's all original numbers, both numbers inside. Super white, too. Yeah, don't take that for granted. Sometimes I'll get them in, and they'll be all yellowed. This one is just pristine white. Yep, right out of the package, it looks like. Look at the reds on there. Beautiful apple green. Don't you love that color? Beautiful reds. Banger base. Whoa, shiny engine. Yeah, baby. Let's get him. I'll put him over here. Oh, I had a couple. Oh, oh, that's why I had those on the side. I'm like, what are those doing over there? I tell you what, the grand finale is coming up here. We're not far away from the grand finale. <laughs> yeah, I, I have something I'm going to share with you. I haven't had in my hands for a long time. Here's a purple coupe. Beautiful dark purple. Very consistent purple. No toning. Look at that gem. Shiny on the grill, beautiful reds. Yeah, I a uh, little hood nick there, or I mean a, ru a rumble seat. Don't think there are any buttons if I remember right from the pictures, but it does have the champagne interior with the black backing on the um, on the rumble seat back. Beautiful purple guys. Put him there. I'm gonna be choosy here for my last one. Yeah, my last one here. Let's see. Oh, another uh, sand crab in beautiful green. What a gorgeous piece. Clean on the front, clean on the roll bar. No daisies. Sometimes daisies will take away the, the beauty of the car because over time, you know, they'll lose a pedal or two. And um, my, my, uh, our customers, you know, they're just looking for clean. They want a clean red line they can put on their shelf and gaze at and just, you know, look at the difference in these two, these two greens. Look at this power pad and the sand crab. Like different green colors. Don't you love that? Man, I call I often refer back to Spectra Flame Magic. <laughs> and that's what's going on here. Spectra, here's another kind of a common car, but you know, the mantis, when they're this clean, you gotta you gotta take notice. Beautiful yellow. Edges are clean. Edges, edges, edges. Top roll bar clean. Beautiful interior. Look how clean this car is, guys. This is exactly how you're going to get your cars, too. I, um, even though they're clean, I, I take a Q-tip with uh, purified water, and I make sure that every car has been looked over uh, and, you know, that you get it in pristine conditions you could take it right out of the box when i send it to you oh you know what look what they did on this one they, they put a piece of um where is it there it is they, they put a they put a piece of um foam in there this little peanut to protect the wing inside the clam what an inventive cool thing to do another magenta for a u.s uh, maverick the u.s is going to have the broad wide stripe that's painted on Versus the Hong Kong, which is narrow, and it's actually a strip that's applied. This is painted on. There is the original wing. Just beautiful shape. Magenta, Mighty Mav, guys. Oh, it's got a stiff, it's got a stiff hood on it. No nick. Look at that. Pretty close to BP on that one. Blister fresh. Um, I'm saving... Actually, no, let's do two, let's do three more. Look at, they put an extra wide and they put extra um, peanuts on this one too, on this charger. They put extra peanuts in, uh, in that clam. 
It's got a little little roughy in the front there. Still a charger. No slouch whatsoever. Shiny red custom Dodge Charger. Hood matches pretty close to the rest of the car. Those are tough to find when they're when they match like that. It's banger bass. Let's put him back here. And then um, two more. I have another flying colors, the last flying colors of this group, which is the um, uh, plastic base um, uh, ambulance. Look at how crispy the tampos are. Very, very hard to find these things without all kinds of popping. And so there's one little pop right there. But I'm telling you what, you know how hard it is, especially white, that shows everything. Look how clean this one is. Beautiful ambulance, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put him right there. And then, my drum roll, please. Let's make room for this car. Let's tell you what. Let's take this six-shooter out of the way. I am super excited about this one, guys. Are you ready? <laughs> Here it is. When is the last time you saw an early run brown hot heap? There it is, guys. That is the pinnacle of this collection right there. Look at that. Beautiful shade of brown. So tough to find. Radiator front. Pretty pristine, guys. Glass, gorgeous. Look at that. Early run, there's no radius on the pipe, so those are straight out. Early run. Brown is beautiful. Look at that. Man, you got to have that one in your collection. You certainly do. There, let's, let's just gaze at that for a minute, huh? Let's do it together. Gorgeous. So glad you're still here and watching. 20 minutes, I normally don't do long box openings, but this one is an exception because they're so beautiful. Let's take the phone off for a second here and go through the beautiful cars that came in this collection. There they are. Top view up here in the back 40. So again, if you are, you have blisters, that, this is, those blisters are gonna be for sale uh, tonight at starting at 6 p.m. Central on the studio. But uh, these cars will all be for auction. We're working for you. And where to find us? Right there. Redline Collectibles. Hit me up. Send me a, uh, an email. Uh, text me. Call me. If you've got a Redline collection you want to move. Um, yeah, I buy collections. But you know what? Lately, you know, a big, the vast majority of what we do is work on your behalf uh, from a consignment standpoint. So give it a thought. Uh, do like, subscribe, and share the channel. Thank you so much for supporting Redline Collectibles. I'll have much, much more for you. Enjoy the show. See everybody. Bye.